So how to use crypto. In the previous videos, we looked at what crypto is all about and how Bitcoin Cash can be useful for individuals and businesses. In this video, I'll show you how to use Bitcoin Cash. I have two Android tablets right here, but this will work real similar on Apple devices or PCs. So I've chosen to send Bitcoin from this Electron Cash wallet here. It's already got some Bitcoin Cash loaded on, but on this tablet here, which is going to receive some Bitcoin Cash, I'm going to choose to download, use a, a different wallet and download the Bitcoin.com wallet. This is a really good wallet um, for beginners. I find it's just really user friendly. It's also non-custodian, like on one of the previous videos I explained, is is a it's a fairly important part of of the Bitcoin ecosystem. So you can see it's just downloading there. And this is probably a good opportunity just to talk about the, how it's decentralized this system. Notice that I'm using the Electron Cash wallet to send to the Bitcoin.com wallet. So two completely separate companies, but they're using this peer-to-peer -peer decentralized network to send uh, funds. So that's finished installing. So if I go back to the home screen, there it is there. So I'll just tap on that, bitcoin.com. Takes you through a small tutorial. We'll just go next there. Feel free to have a read. You get to this screen. I'm just gonna sign in, or it says continue anonymously. You can use Google to back up your private keys or you can also do that manually. So here it's creating those keys. It says creating wallets. So straight away, we've, we're now on the network. Um, we've got three wallets, Bitcoin Cash, the regular Bitcoin, another cryptocurrency called Ethereum, which is also interesting. So all I need to do on this tablet here is just tap receive. Bitcoin Cash. I've now got a, an address that is linked to my private key. So on this tablet, I'm just going to click send. Pay to. Well, I don't want to type out that long address that you can see there. I don't know if you can see it on, the, on your screen, but it's quite complicated and long. And that's why we have a QR code there. So stand Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash thing is to click scan. QR code with this tablet. So I just put that over the QR here. That's it. So you can see now that long address is over here. Um, I could be on the other side of the world. I'll just say I want one US dollar. So I'm going to send one US dollar, which equals this much bit Bitcoin cash, which is 0.001 four nine and I'll just click send into my password my complicated password which is just one straight away instant it's there so this is now giving a warning saying you you've received um, your first asset but you haven't yet uh, backed up your keys really important we're not going to do it right now um, because but it is really important that those keys do back get backed up if you don't, if the app is uninstalled or something like that, um, that that's gone, That all that money's gone, so you, ca you can't get that back. Actually, I'll just show you, because it is a good thing to do. So if I go into the settings, backup and security, and I'll go manual backup. Now, I'm gonna blur out these pass, these the, the, the words on the screen, but right here I've got 12, uh, words in a sequence and it's really important that they are uh, written down you could put it on a uh, paper is a great place to put it somewhere safe private um, you back it up once and then you never have to back up that that wallet again um, even if you're just receiving uh, additional bitcoins later down the track so the other thing i wanted to show you was this bitcoin cash register app here, I've already pre-installed it. Um, this is a great tool for 
businesses, it's it's an alternative to like an, an FPOS machine um, where you take um, standard FPOS cards. So all this does is generate QR code. So and in that QR code is the amount that you want to charge. So if I'm selling something for 15 bucks, um, I would just click checkout. Um, I've got that QR code in there. And, um, and I can just scan that with a, another tablet. It says $15 there, but that's Australian dollars which equals $11 USD, which is, is why it says USD there, 11. So I'll click cancel. Um, the other thing to sort of note on this app is it's, um, if we go into settings, we can choose, uh, what did I make the password? Um, we can choose the destination address. So that destination address, I think probably is this tablet here. So as a business owner, I could have this secured in a vault somewhere on the other side of the world. It doesn't really matter. Whereas this Bitcoin cash register can be on site in somewhere insecure. But anyway, that's all you have to do to be a business owner to accept Bitcoin cash or other cryptos uh, are similar is just to choose that you really trust this system. Another part that's really important for businesses is if they're choosing to accept Bitcoin Cash, they may have to sell that Bitcoin Cash on the market so that they can pay supplies and that sort of thing. So this is where cryptocurrency exchange comes in. Now, in a previous video, I said that uh, cryptocurrency doesn't require paperwork and that, and that sort of thing. It's, it's permissionless. And that is true. Uh, except when you're dealing with traditional finance. It's the traditional finance, banks and that sort of thing that do require that sort of um, those sort of checks. So I've already done that. I, I'm choosing to use a cryptocurrency called CoinSpot and I've already signed up for it previously and gone through their identity check. So I'm now logged into CoinSpot and what I want to do, I, I want to... Um, uh, sell some Bitcoin cash. Maybe I, I'm a, a business and I've accepted it, but I now need to pay a supplier for something. So I'm here in the dashboard, but what I want to do, I want to go up to wallets. And here you can see the many, many uh, Bitcoin uh, cryptocurrencies available on the market. There's thousands of them and they're all competing to do various things. Um, I just happen to think Bitcoin Cash is is probably the best for has has probably the best attributes for money, but we shall see over time. So I'm just going to type in BCH for Bitcoin Cash. I'm going to open my Bitcoin Cash wallet. Some wallets, uh, sorry, some exchanges will look really different to this, but I, I like this one because it's user friendly. CoinSpot's also good because it's easy to. Uh, sell and deposit into your in, in dollars into your bank account So I will click receive and Then show QR code and now I'm on my phone. I'll just click send one dollar and send and It hasn't shown up just here and that's because this is a, a an exchange Exchanges like to wait uh, for a number of confirmations. That's a little bit technical, but it just means the network over time slowly becomes, every 10 minutes it gets a little bit more secure. We can't see anything that's come in just yet. Now the reason being, if I go transaction, you'll see that the transaction is there, but the status is that it's processing. So I'll pause the video here and we'll wait for that transaction action to show up in this wallet. So as you can see, the $1 worth of Bitcoin Cash has been received by the exchange. It took about 15 minutes. Exchanges deal with a lot of funds, so they, they like to wait for a few confirmations just to make sure so as you can see, it's there. So I can just click sell 
to sell my Bitcoin Cash to the exchange. I'll sell all that much Bitcoin Cash for $1. Click sell. As you can see, there's a, a fee for selling it. So that's how they make their money. Confirm sell. Just note that I, like I'm, I'm using uh, just $1 worth. And that's a really good way to get started in it um, because it, you, you're not risking much. You have to be really careful, especially with cryptocurrency. Uh, often you, you can't reverse it. So um, there's yeah. So that's um, that's sold. You can see in my account funds I now have now have 99 cents. So if I come up here, all exchanges are different, but if I come up here on CoinSpot, I can withdraw. And the amount that I want to re withdraw is 99 cents. Yes, I confirm that's my account details. I've, I've previously done this and inputted my my bank details and I click withdraw. Yes, confirm. And that's it. So depends on the exchange. Perhaps you'll get it in your bank the next, the next day, that sort of thing. So that's all for this video. No doubt you have many more questions. Please leave any comments below and perhaps I can answer them in another video. Thanks.